How is uh, just a quick video today? I'm very busy with work this week. Um, good things are happening. Uh, people are waking up a lot quicker with this Rona bullshit than we realise. The establishment once again has shot themselves in the foot. The Irish television putting goons like Jedward out there as the spokespeople of this, the government's strategy is just backfired on them. They've, of course, the comments are all switched off on the government on the government broadcaster's website, and uh, they just don't know how to handle this. Now there has been basic ignoring of the lockdowns in terms of but people living their lives, even though the pubs are closed at a certain time or closed completely. Large crowds of young people are now gathering on the streets, and good luck to them. And, of course, you have the sanctimonious loons. Like, for instance, there was a small village here in, in, the, west, in the west of Ireland where a 100 kids had a huge party. And if you saw the comments on the Irish newspaper, all the all the, the yummy mummy, the Irish version of soccer moms and the terrified ninnies, you know, saying things like, they, they sh there were a 100 students and they were saying things like, they should have their... They should not be allowed to graduate. They should be thrown out of college and never allowed to another college ever again. It was unbelievable. You think these kids who were having a party had uh, committed, you know, the Holocaust or something? And last night in Liverpool in England, and in Galway City here in Ireland, there's there was videos of vast numbers of people on the street ignoring the lockdown and having going wild. And uh, that's because, well, you think of it this way. There's two kinds of people who go to college. There's ones, a small, the small, tiny number who are woke, listen to their crazy Marxist professors, and uh, they do the whole politically correct woke thing. The majority of them are not like that, particularly in technical colleges and things like that. In university, basically, you go to have your mind turned to mush and uh, and your soul removed. And... That's why Richard Dawkins was now been dropped. He was supposed to do an address at the Trinity College Dublin uh, Historical Society, which is, you know, Ireland's most prestigious university. And they dropped him because of his comments about Islam. I mean, I mean this, this is, that, that sums them all up. You know, a historical society doesn't want to learn about history in case it makes them upset, it triggers them. And there would be one or two students who were who said that we had a problem about that. And the, the faculty and the uh, the academia just fold like a cheap camera every time. And uh, anyone who knows anything about Dawkins knows he says these things. And, he's, he has, and that's one of the things I, I do like about Dawkins is that he's the few, one of the few top atheists who actually goes after Islam as much as Christianity which is a good thing. They're supposed to go equally after them. Normally they go for Christianity, Hinduism, and New Age. But they always, they all, all the trendy, woke atheists will never bring Islam into it. Uh, because, well, that's how the agenda works right now. He's one of the few, probably about the only one. Who, and, well, Chris, uh, Christopher Hitchens did as well. Uh, Peter Hitchens, the, the one who died. And, uh, sorry, I had a bad night's sleep last night. But you know what I'm talking about. And, um, uh, that was good. But I said, like, half, the majority of students will just be going along with the whole woke PC thing until they get out of college. But now we're seeing now, now we're seeing a kind of a change in them. They're saying, fuck the lockdown and we're going to enjoy our lives. And uh, it's amazing to watch. And it's good. Th the, the one in Liverpool was great. And uh, it was all different ages there. And the one in Galway seemed to be predominantly students. I don't, you know, there's a university and a, technical college in that city so which ones they came from i don't know i doubt i suppose i doubt the university because galway university is notorious for being woke uh, it's probably from the the nih the nih nih uh to cut the technical college there and uh it's brilliant to see just wonderful and uh it's just you know it's there's a point where they, they're just losing control. They're, they're already losing control. I mean, it's only it's only fanaticism and sheer terror that some people have in them, and they're, who are enjoying the terror and enjoying the the control, and so on. Who uh, and the, tyrann the, the, the tyrannical nature of it that they can pose on others is keeping it going. 
I mean, the RT website's ridiculous. Like they, they're still they're still talking about like it's a Holocaust and everyone you half the people you know are dead from it. And I'm sure in your country as well, your government broadcasters doing the same. You would think that like by now half the people you knew are dead from it, and most of us don't even know anyone who died from it or even had it, or even had it. And they continue to deny the delusion on. They have like some guy who claims to have had and gone, I was very lucky, you know. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, you know, uh, everyone, lots of people get sick with lots of things. Now, the big elephant in the living room, of course, of all this, and it's no laughing matter, is the suicide thing. There are people, there are people, there's been vast numbers of suicides that have been played down, we haven't heard about and kept quiet. And this will be, these are the real victims of this whole thing. And this is really, you know, this is the one that the, this is the elephant in the living room that media, no one wants to talk about. That the amount of people have been locked down and become suicidal and killed themselves. And also people have died alone. I'm sure all over this country and all over your country, there's a horrific vista of bodies in houses that haven't been discovered yet. Old people who either died alone or people who live alone who have committed suicide and the body hasn't been found yet. And... Uh, or was found, has been found, and was found months after, weeks after it died, after they died, and took their own life, or etc., whatever, whatever happened, and uh, this will be the real cause, as long as, as long as, as well as people who couldn't get cancer treatment and so on. And there's also another thing we've spoken and never spoke about is there's still tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people all around the world who still have not got back home since April. For lots of reasons, the flights have been cancelled, it's hard to get a flight, they're still locked down in a country where it's like a regime is using it to like bully their people, and um, or, and they, you know all the complications of what country they're going from to what country they're living in. I was talking to a chap here from Brazil, he wanted to go visit his mother. And he was saying, like, it's literally impossible because of both the, the lockdown and quarantine restrictions on, be, between both Ireland and and uh, and Brazil. He said it's absolutely impossible. And so that's never talked about either. So, look, good news, you know, what you saw with those people dancing in Galway and, and, and Liverpool, that was, a, that, was the, that was the kettle boiling, OK? And there's going to be more kettles boiling like that. I might. I still have the belief that they'll keep the scam going till Christmas. It'll be as schmaltzy as anything, and then after Christmas it will peter out, and they'll go back to the whole climate change thing. Regarding the vaccine, you know my story on that. The ones and the ones who want it will take it, and it's like it's like the it's like the contract tracing and the apps. The ones who who will want this. There's so many hypochondriacs and hysterical ninnies out there who want that. They love the idea of it. It turns them on. And uh, tomorrow night I'm doing a show. First one I've ever done in France, actually, by the way. And it'll be, I'll tell you when it's broadcast. On I'm going to do a, 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 a discussion on the occult and the religiosity of the COVID-19 experience. So you should check out for that. I'll post the link when it's up there. And regarding new videos, I've been putting a lot of stuff lately on Beyond Room 313 channel. So please go check that out. And, uh, you know, <laughs> things are looking good, I have to say. There's a, you know, yeah, the people are wearing the mask, but I see a lot of them wearing the mask like this, you know, this kind of thing or that or, you know, that, that kind of thing, you know. The mouth thing. Uh, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be cool. Take care. Bye.